Hello folks and welcome back. I select the quick selection tool, then I click on select subject to automatically make a selection to the girl. I make some small modifications to the selection. And I press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the selection, so there I have the girl isolated in a separated layer. Now I will make a gradient for the background. I will select this preset. You can also select the skin colors with the color picker for the background. Now, I will make an oval circle path with the shape tool to make a selection from this part of the face. I need to make some transformations adjustments. You can select the pen tool or the direct selection tool. If you select the pen tool, you will need to hold the, the control or command key and click in any of the anchor points to modify it. In this case, I have selected the pen tool. I click on this point, then I modify it by moving the handles. I modify also the other points. That is the shape that I want to make. Now I go to the paths panel. I place the cursor in the path thumbnail, then I press and hold the control or command key, and when you see this icon, click to load a selection. Now, press control or command J to duplicate that selection. And you can see that I have that part of the face in a separated layer. I rename it girl face, then I convert it into a smart object. Now, I double-click in the girl face layer to bring up the layer style dialog box. I will put inner shadow, bevel and emboss, and the stroke effects. Just follow my settings. If you think that the inner shadow is very strong, just double-click again on the layer, and change the settings.
I press Ctrl or Command L to bring up the levels. And I adjust the sliders a little bit. And there we have it. I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe, comment, like and share. Remember to download the free PSD file. The link is on the description. Thank you so much for watching, I see you in the next video.